Hello everyone, and welcome to the Codesultant channel. Today, our topic of discussion revolves around the use of lugs as the main connection in a panel board. Specifically, we will explore whether this practice is permitted by the code and, if so, where and what are the relevant rules. Without further ado, let's get started. The illustration showcases a main panel board that is supplying power to two subpanels, namely PB1 and PB2. Both subpanels utilize lugs as their main connection. Now, the question arises. Is this configuration allowed according to the code? According to section 4.8.3.7 of the code, it is required to install an overcurrent protective device somewhere on the supply side of the panel board. The specific location within the panel board is not mandated by the code. For instance, in illustration 2, the main circuit breaker or protective device can be integrated into the panel board itself. Conversely, in illustration 3, the main circuit breaker or protective device is placed at a remote location. It is important to note that the panel board must be safeguarded by an overcurrent protective device with a rating no greater than the panel board's rating. In the provided illustrations, panel PB1 has a rating of 100 amperes, hence its maximum overcurrent protective device rating should be 100 amperes. Similarly, panel PB2 is rated at 60 amperes, and it should be protected by a maximum rating of 60 amperes as well. In cases where the panel board is supplied through a transformer, specifically as stated in subsection 4.8.3.7b, the overcurrent protection for the panel board must be positioned on the secondary side of the transformer. It is permissible for the required overcurrent protective device to be located within the panel board or in a separate enclosure preceding the panel board. However, in subsection 2.40.2.1c, a set of conductors feeding a single load, or each set of conductors feeding separate loads, shall be permitted to be connected to a transformer secondary, without overcurrent protection at the secondary to comply with the following condition. Subsection 2.40.2.1c2 and 3 notes that the secondary conductors cannot exceed 3 meters in length in typical installations, while for the industrial application is not more than 7.5 meters. Additionally, it is required that the conductors are safeguarded against short circuit and ground fault events. As stated in subsection 2.40.8.3c1.3, if calculations conducted under the supervision of an engineer determine that the system's overcurrent devices will adequately protect the conductors within recognized time versus current limits for all short circuit and ground fault scenarios, then this requirement is satisfied. In addition to the mentioned conditions for subpanels with lugs only as the main connection, there are further requirements regarding their location. The subpanel must be installed in the same room as the main panel, and the distance between the main panel and the subpanel should be no more than 3 meters horizontally.